All right, this is going to be me versus the city of Stratholm. And put some restrictions on just to make it a little harder, a little more fun. 45 minute time limit is the game's restriction, not mine. And we have to wait for this scrolling text to leave. All right, here I am at the main entrance to Stratholm. Nowadays I use the service entrance, but... Oh, and by the way, this is the pre-Cataclysm Stratholm. They're changing it in Cataclysm, so... All right, now I'm in a group of monsters. Looks like skeletons. Unlike the last me versus, my recording and voiceover sessions were done at different times. So, more monsters, some zombies this time. My imp's attacking one of the zombies over there. This was also before the Cataclysm redesign of the talents and all that, so I'm using the Wrath of Lich King talents because that's when I recorded this. I just was... To tell the truth, I was too lazy to put it up until now. Getting lots of Argent Dawn rep here. Using some food and drink here. This is just the ordinary food and drink, so it doesn't violate my no buff food restriction. Not looting any of the mobs here because I really don't need the loot. And I don't want it to waste space in my bags. And like I said, because this is pre 4.0, the soul bag is still a soul bag. Yes, I'm on a warlock, as you could tell. Although I think I already said that. Sorry. And I already have the key to the city here. I'd gotten it previously. So I'm just using it to unlock these doors, pop up my instance map, add on. Okay, now I'm in the next area, just some skeletons, some zombies, there's one abomination in the distance, but I don't remember whether I'm going to attack the abomination, it's been so long since I recorded this video. It looked like, no, I did go around the abomination. Okay, and the service entrance is to the south of here. That's the back door to Stratholm. And it's going to be, in Cataclysm, the entrance to this part of Stratholm, because Stratholm is being split into two instances. The main entrance, which is the one I went through, goes to the live side, which is the part that I'm not doing in this me versus. The dead side, which is the part that I am doing in, in this me versus, is going to be entered from the back door, the service entrance, which is the part that I didn't go in. The entrance that I didn't go in, which is to the south of where I am now. Alright, now I'm entering the gauntlet. That There are three bosses in there. And here's where the 45 minute timer starts. See where, see Baron Rivendare yelled at me. He's the final boss in case... Well, he's not going to be the final boss anymore in Cataclysm.
Alright, now I'm going to try to avoid as many of these mobs as possible because they're just pain in the butt to fight. Not that, I, not that they can overpower me because, I mean, this is the level 60 instance. I'm level 80. I mean, you can do the math. And that banshee at the top of those stairs, that's a boss. The pretty annoying one at that because she can mind control me and force me to kill my pet, which in this case would violate one of the restrictions, which is no pet deaths. Other than that, there isn't anything really special about this boss. And now the boss is dead and the door opens. And I have to go in here. There are these five little dinky mobs, the acolytes. They all have to die. Not that they would attack me or anything, but they do. They do attack me, but they have to die anyway. Then Baron Rivendare yells at me again. Because killing these acolytes will open a gate up later. And I'm getting attacked again. Probably by... Ah, by that shade. Now that crypt fiend's on my tail. Oh, wait. I'm a blood elf. Blood elves don't have tails. Using the life tap here. Whoop. Ran right into the crypt fiend. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Okay, that green area to the left on the mini-map, that's another boss room. Kind of like that place with the Banshee boss. Yeah, just like that. And it's a Crypt Fiend boss, but that regular Crypt Fiend doesn't want me to pass. And the Crypt Fiend boss, nothing really special. Actually, none of these bosses are really hard for me. I mean, after all, I am 20 levels over what they're designed for. And here, more acolytes, more yelling from Baron Revedere, same deal. Those acolytes have to die. Just like the goblins in the last me versus. Oh no, I'm getting ambushed! <laughs> those are just plagued insects. Those things are easy. Watch him burn. Now I have to wait for the gate to open. This is annoying, because the gate doesn't like to open right away. More dodging mobs. Another boss, this time with ads. Door opens. These are the last of the acolytes, but like the others, they need to die. Because that's the way this instance works. It's 
See, now Baron Rivendare is yelling at me a lot. Now that gate I told you about earlier, it's open now. And now I can go through it to the next part of the instance. Oh, and someone, either from my friends list or my guild, I can't, can't see very well from the movie making software. Is online, but not a big deal. Probably from my friends list. Yeah, I think it is from my friends list, but that that's moot. We don't care about that at this point. That banshee's attacking my imps. It has to die. The gargoyles attacking me. Everything's attacking me. So all that crap has to die. The Banshee's using a ma an anti-magic shield and all my attacks are magic, of course. My health's low. Will I be able to make it? Banshee drums are anti-magic shield and I'd make it. Banshee goes down. And I make it. I can use my food and drink to replenish my health and my mana and I can make it finally. And I'm almost at the end of the time that YouTube will allow me for this video. So, I am going to have to end this video and start a part 2 soon. That gate in front of me is the gate that I opened by killing all 15 acolytes. So, stay tuned for part 2.